guys, I'm the Maths Prof and in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate sides using sides in similar shapes. If you want to have a go yourself, just grab a pen, your calculator and some paper and then you can forward to the end of each example to see if you've got the answer right. Anyway, have fun! question we need to work out the length of PQ which is this distance here so I'm just going to call that X and to work out X we need to divide the corresponding size in the two triangles because remember they're similar shapes and that means their sides are proportional so when I divide two sides with each other and then I divide a different pair of two sides I should always get the same number when I divide them okay that's just a fact about similar shapes so I'm going to divide x by 5.2 since that is the side that corresponds to x in the smaller triangle. Notice how I'm doing x on top. That just makes the equation later easier to solve and rearrange. But it doesn't matter if you do it the other way around, but I think it's easier if you put the unknown as the numerator. So we need to put that equal to and we're going to divide these sides as well. So remember we're doing the big side divided by the small side, so we need to do the same with these two. I need to do the big side, which is 21.7, and then divide by its small side, which is over here, 12.4. So now, all we have to do is solve the equation to find x. Because x is being divided by 5.2, we have to do the opposite, and we need to multiply. Don't forget to do the same thing to both sides of your equation. On the left hand side, they just cancel and we're left with x. And on the right hand side, well, you need to put that in your calculator. So type that fraction in your calculator or use divide and then you're going to multiply that answer by 5.2 and hopefully you will get 9.1 centimetres. So that is the answer to the first one. one I'm going to start the same way by labeling the side we need to work out with the letter X and then I need to divide that large length by the corresponding small length so if we look at the smaller triangle it must be this one here so we're doing X divided by 8.4 so we've got X as the numerator again and this happens to be the large triangle so we're doing the large side divided by the small side so I need to divide the same way with this pair of sides. I'm doing the larger length, which is 15, divided by the smaller one, which is 6. And then we're just solving the equation. So because x is being divided by 8.4, we have to do the opposite. So we multiply by 8.4, not forgetting to do the same thing on both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, wherever we do the opposite, it just cancels and we're left with x. And on the right-hand side, well, you need to put that in the calculator. So put that fraction in the calculator, or 15 divided by 6, and then multiply that answer by 8.4. And hopefully, you will get 21 centimetres. OK, one more hard one to finish. last question is a little bit more difficult because the similar shapes are being overlapped with each other up here. We know they're similar shapes because of these parallel lines. It means that these angles are the same and these ones too. So I've got two similar triangles. This large one here that I've drawn down to the left. So don't forget to add those numbers together, 4.8 plus 6, to find out the length of that long length there, 10.8. And then the smaller triangle over here to the right. And now we have to work out the value of K. So here's K. It's one of the sides on the smaller triangle. So this time we're doing the small side divided by the big side. So we're doing K divided by 9. Okay, because that side corresponds to K. Now we need to put that equal to the division of the other pair of sides. Not forgetting to put the smaller side as the numerator, like I did here. So we're doing 6 divided by 10.8. Then all that's left to do is to solve the equation. So the opposite of dividing by 9 is to multiply. So we multiply by 9 on both sides of our equation. 
On the left hand side, they just, they just cancel and we're left with K. And on the right hand side, you need to pop it in the calculator. So put that fraction in the calculator, or the division, and then multiply that answer by the number 9. And hopefully you get 5 centimetres. Okay, so that is the value of K. So I hope you found those exam questions helpful. Don't forget if you're doing the higher or extended paper, then you also need to know similar shapes with area and volume as well. I do already have some videos on those, but I'll have some more coming up soon with exam questions. So keep a lookout for those.